Just consider this your first and last warning, okay? You make so much as one sauce joke and I will sue you into a paste. Hi, you're so cute. Aw, oh, thanks, you're making me blush. I'm turning red for my head so may toes. Wait, you have toes? Yeah, that's why I haven't been eaten yet. I find that really hard to believe. Uh, not even that he doesn't have toes, but that nobody would eat them. This is the only game where a conversation can go from threatening to sue produce to foot fetishes in the blink of an eye. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Fishing Food, that cheerful, colorful, cartoony game that's all about exploiting walking, talking food for profit. <laughs> Except uh, a lot of the talking is just soul-crushing puns, and the walking is now a lot of driving because I've been buying them a fleet of convertibles. But the point is, you know, whether you're feeding them to one another in a twisted form of capitalism cannibalism, or you're just renting them unfurnished windowless studio apartments, there are plenty of ways of earning money from food suffering. Now, over the past couple episodes, we've been focusing a lot on the apartment side of things, and I definitely want to do more of that today, because those stories are absolutely hilarious. But I also want to get back to actually fishing for food, because this is where you earn the money to be able to buy yourself another private island? Or, or was it a floating buffet? I can't remember what we've been technically calling them. Anything but food prison. I'm sure somebody from the UN is going to watch one of these videos, so we need to be very careful about what we say. Let's go a little bit deeper into the ocean. Again, I would imagine that this is probably against a whole bunch of wildlife treaties, but it's okay because I just caught myself a mushroom. A mushroom that wants to have a quick little word, a conversation if you want. I just need a second to mentally prepare myself for this pun. I want to go back to the ocean. Why? Other than the fact that it's your home and I kidnapped you. The dock is too small. There's not much room up here. I was honestly trying to think of what the pun could be, but I couldn't figure out how mushroom would fit into something and it didn't fit in there. <laughs> oh, we can flick the cat fay. Good, I need to flick something right now to let out my aggressions. Go and pull up a couple more resources, which we can then use to buy more cars. A hey, mushroom, do you feel like you're deserving of a convertible? Because here you go. <laughs> I love how random this game is. Like, I, I do my best to recap things at the top of the episode for people who haven't seen past episodes, and there's just no way. It's one giant acid-fueled fever dream. Buckle up. Speaking of acid-fueled, I still feel like the Mega Sandwich is high on something, right? Like, all the other food has a happy little uwu face, but he just looks like he's tripping balls, like he's been huffing pain out of a bag all week. And I don't exactly have the facilities to piss test an entire menu. I, I need to be able to buy longer fishing lines, so I, I guess we're just gonna have to keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't try to eat somebody's face. Because <laughs> there are a lot of delicious faces here, including the... Plan? Plan? It's probably for the best you don't want to talk to me in puns, because I don't have any idea what the Christ you are. I noticed you've got a little bit of cool whip on the top of your head, which the sandwich seems real interested in. Have you two been doing whippets on the bottom of the ocean? Is that what's happening here? Because it ends now, not in my prison. I keep letting that word slip, but I, I think we're fine. Just need a little tiny bit more money and we'll be able to reach the bottom? The bottom of the ocean, just the end. Or at least this island, I think. And then we'll have enough money to buy another island. There we go. The cat Faye, you can wait, okay? All this food can walk. I'm busy pulling up peas. Yeah, I got a bunch of peas in a pond. Oh no, there's so many potential pea puns. No, 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 no. You know what? I'm gonna beat you to the punch. How about this? What's the difference between a chickpea and a garbanzo bean? I've never paid a garbanzo to bean on my face. I love that joke so much. Why did you have to catch me? It was the right thing to do. You were at the bottom of the ocean. Peas don't do well down there, I would imagine. What? How? The ocean was my home. It's better if there's less 
pee in the ocean. Come on, why is the cat gonna hit me with a pee pun? And it was piss. That was what I was thinking, but I honestly didn't think the game was gonna go there for a second. <laughs> Either way, that's it, isn't it? Didn't we get all the food? It's not letting me buy another island. Well, if that's the case, I'm seeing a whole lot of my food dragging their little edible buttholes along the dock, so maybe we could go ahead and get them cars? I, I watched an ad so that I have multipliers, and I watched an ad so that I have portals, which means we should be able to buy quite a few cars. <laughs> oh yeah, that's a lot of money. There we go, one, two cars. Price of cars going up? But it, yeah, I guess pandemic reaches even here. But we can go even deeper, which is surprising. I could have swore we had everything. Evidently not. I, I think we just caught a Graham cracker. Maybe a Steve cracker, or a Jordan cracker. No, Graham. <laughs> I wasn't going to assume his name. Oh, he doesn't even want to say anything. Now I'm the one coming up with shitty puns. I don't really know what's going on here, but nothing is going to stand between me and having a bunch of delicious pain-filled islands, so I guess we'll just keep on fishing and hope for the best. <laughs> now we've got a uh, pot sticker? Pot sticker? I don't even know what that is. <gasps> Are you food? Oof. Where am I? No, no, no. I'm the one who asks the questions around here. What are you? <laughs> You're in somebody's phone. Oh no, but I'm a pot sticker, not a phone sticker. This was uncalled for. That pun was uncalled for. <laughs> Did you just come up with your own stupid name so that you could make a phone sticker joke or a pot sticker is an actual thing? Maybe I'm just uncultured. Okay, pot stickers are like Chinese American dumplings. Listen, I may not know that, but at least I know a good joke about chicks peeing on your face, so we can call it even. Can I please start pulling up some food that I recognize so I won't feel so damn embarrassed? There we go, okay. That, uh, could be a fruit. Could be a chicken ball, because there seems to be a lot of Chinese at the bottom of the ocean, but maybe a tanger grapefruit? Grapefruit. That's what I was gonna say. What the hell is going on right now? I I've heard of people breaking out of prison before, but never food breaking into prison. I didn't fish you out of the ocean, Mr. Sandwich. You just kind of appeared. Do I have like a, a little cat wife hiding in a little cat kitchen somewhere? Hi, I'm a sandwich. I'm a human, even though I aren't I a cat? I'm confused with who's talking right now. <laughs> you know, I used to be human too. Really? I thought you were peanut butter, jelly, and bread. What part of you was human? <laughs> yeah, I miss being a human. What happened? I really need some kind of explanation as to what's going on in this world that I plan to rule with an iron fist and money. I was hungry, so I said, make me a sandwich. Well, I got what I asked for. Literally? Yeah, I guess you could say I'm in a bit of a jam. But at least it's my jam. Wow. Can I throw him back? I know I technically didn't pull him out to begin with, but still. Like I was trying to say, after having a word with Captain Melon Slice, I have it on good authority that I only need five more foods to unlock another island, which we should be able to do fairly quickly. I've got a whole bunch of money, so let's pull up an ice cream sandwich. There's so many things that we find at the bottom of the ocean, and I think, ew. There's, there's no way that's still good, right? Nice, soppy, melted ice cream sandwich. No, thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and keep on fishing. It doesn't want to talk to me. Oh my God, you're adorable. We got a cute tomato. Oh yeah. I'm gonna sue you for copyright though. That's for damn sure. Just consider this your first and last warning, okay? You make so much as one sauce joke and I will sue you into a paste. Hi, you're so cute. Aw, oh, thanks, you're making me blush. I'm turning red from my head. So many toes. Wait, you have toes? Yeah, that's why I haven't been eaten yet. I find that really hard to believe. Not even that he doesn't have toes, but that nobody would eat them. This is the only game where a conversation can go from threatening to sue produce to foot fetishes in the blink of an eye. 
Are you kidding me right now? I, I had fished a whole bunch of shovels out of the ocean, which I could then use out back to dig up hats. I, I don't know who's burying these hats to begin with. But I, I lost them somehow. I would imagine whoever stole my shovels and whoever's burying these hats is the same person throwing ketchup bottles into the ocean or, or preparing all of this food. Do you think this food gets prepared? Or do you think they're just like reproducing down here? I don't really want to think about how an ice cream sandwich fucks, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> How about we just completely wipe that mental image from our minds and go bobbing for... What is that, a beat? Maybe a turnip? I hope it's not a turnip, because there are a lot of turnip puns. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, I guess we're just gonna have to suffer through you. Jesus Christ, he's not even gonna waste any time. Why did I turn up here? Because you're my favorite food. What kind of cat's favorite food is a turnip? <gasps> wow, uh, really? Nope. My favorite food is catnip, not turnip. A double. As if turnip wasn't bad enough, they had to hit us with a double. God damn it, cats. Here we go, boys. Last food. This is it. We're finally gonna end things off with the bucket of paint. Yeah, you know what? I, I feel like a lot of the stuff in this game has been drinking paint, so it wouldn't be all that... Oh, it's a ketchup bucket. Why would we get a ketchup bottle and then a ketchup bucket? Are they a family? It, it doesn't want to answer the questions of why, so I guess we're just gonna go to our brand new private island. Island 4. With a different cat. And, uh, no food. I guess that could always change. Oh, you're still doing the whole throwing your head in, huh? What the hell? The like candies? Smarties? Yeah, I was gonna say, you can't use Smarties or m and so it's just candies. I swear to God, if they make a Smarties or m and joke, I'm, I'm just gonna rage quit the game, though. Oh, you just know this isn't gonna end well. What do you call a lamb covered in chocolate? I don't know, sweet, cheap, disturbing? A candy bar. Oh my god, is the lamb okay? It's fine, relax. I, I really wish that I, I could just eat some of this food. You know, I don't have to house them. We can find others. Well, we've reached my goal of a new island. I feel pretty good about that, and there are apparently even more of them. We also have the farm, which isn't all that interesting, and the genetic experimentation lab, which is a little bit slow, but we could always go back to the apartments, see what's going on here. In fact, we could fish out another floor. Don't mind if I do. Got some more tenants, and we even colored this one differently. I'm not even 100% sure who lives here. Apple and... Pomegranate, maybe? Yeah, you know what, I'm gonna say pomegranate because you don't look all that edible, and I'm gonna talk to you because I can guarantee there is nothing that rhymes with pomegranate. There is no pun that can be made. So, let's have a talk with the new tenant. Thanks for pulling me out of the ocean. Oh, no problem, I, I'm just a helpful, innocent bystander. How did I even get down there? I could have died. My memory is pretty fuzzy. Was there an earthquake or something? Sure, why not? I, I, I would love to know too, to be perfectly honest. I certainly had nothing to do with it. Nothing at all. Are you sure about that? Absolutely. Why can't I remember anything? Oh no, I can't even remember who I am. Oops, uh, I guess the memory wipe went a little too deep. Wait, what? Uh, nothing. Memory wipe? I've been erasing the memories of these foods and then throwing them in the ocean just to fish them back out and rent them shitty apartments. I'm so confused right now. <laughs> it was weird enough when we found out that all of the cats seemingly used to be foods because this strawberry slowly molded and then cocooned to become a cat. But I don't know what to do with all this information other than talk to... The mayonnaise brain who took over the tree. Yeah, this is a whole thing that we're gonna have to delve into, isn't it? So, <laughs> this story was uh, you know, a jar of mayonnaise who we decided to scoop a brain out of. Brain ended up being a parasite to the jar, and now the brain hopped in a tree, and I, I don't think we're on the greatest terms. I, I suppose we could see how you're doing. Um, what are you thinking about? 
Maybe I was wrong to take over this tree. He was living a happy life. Now it's over. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he had a family too, a whole forest. But I'm glad you're starting to realize you're a monster. Uh, it's not a great feeling. Is it normal to feel this guilty? I don't know, man. I've never been a tree or a brain. I mean, I'm technically a brain. I've never been a parasite. <laughs> yeah, you did a pretty bad thing. The more I think about it, the more guilty I feel. I, I can't contain these feelings. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> did, did he just burn the tree? How is that better? Pretty sure you just made everything worse. What the? I guess the tree couldn't handle all my brain activity. Who would have guess you used the wrong wood, you jackass. Oh, well, time for a new host. I, I thought you were feeling guilty, but this has gone too far. I, I need to throw you out before you hurt anyone else. Oh, no. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> so the tree just spontaneously combusted? It probably killed itself. I mean, let's be honest, it, it did not want to live with that thing inside of it. Well, considering there's now an open flame in my wooden apartment building full of uncooked food, I feel like I'm gonna have to revisit that before the end of the episode. Uh, for now, how about we have a word with Mr. Apple, the new tenant? You got anything interesting to say? Hey, what's up? People are concerned that you're destroying the environment. Who's saying that? I'll, I'll destroy them. I mean, if anything, it, it's not me. It, it's the mayo brain parasites. If I wasn't a landlord cat, I'd say I sound crazy. Oh, everyone is saying it. You're polluting the ocean every time you fish out a room. Uh, listen, I know it looks a little oily, all right? But then, so what? It, it clears up after waiting a while. I've got plenty of beachside property. I'm sure I'll figure it out. <laughs> it's just spreading out to the rest of the ocean. I'm pulling fully furnished rooms out of the ocean. If anything, I'm unpolluting, thank you very much. Whatever, out of sight, out of mind. I am sure my viewers will be thrilled to hear that. You have viewers? Wait, you didn't tell me you're a reporter? Well, now you know. Keep your eye on the news. You'll be the headline soon. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. When he said viewers, I thought he was going to be some kind of Apple vlogger, but I suppose a journalist would be worse in this case. The good news is the fire hasn't spread yet. Salt shaker seems to be fine. But the bad news is Parasite Brain wants to have another word with me. <laughs> yeah, we should probably talk to him. I, I can't believe that cat wants to get rid of me. Time to find a new host so I can hide. Hey, you. What's up? Want some candy? That's a creepy question, but you look smart, so okay, where's the candy? Right here, I'm a candy brain. Say, ah, ah, num, 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 oh, wait, whoa, whoa. Perfect, no one will find me in here. Wait, so he just hopped into that cinnamon stick, was it? But the stick ate him, rather than him burrowing in like the poor tree. Maybe they'll be a little bit more symbiotic. I don't have 15 minutes to wait, my guy. Come on, you're killing me here. Okay, you know what? It's only fair. You guys watch ads for me, so I'll watch ads for you and speed things up so that we can talk to what I can only describe as a backed up colon. What exactly are you now? <gasps> Move along, nothing to see here. Just a regular piece of cinnamon. Are you dumb? I can see you in there. Oh no, don't get rid of me. Actually, it might be okay to keep you around in that form. People will see you for what you really are. I'm not sure I, I like that. Well, you should have thought about that before you decided to take on the form of a uh, cholesterol-ridden artery. <laughs> Stop trying to hide who you are. This is your life now. Boo. Well, there you have it. He's just gonna live his best life as himself. 
All right, sure. You know what? As long as I get rent on time, I'm not going to question it. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Fishing Food, guys. I don't know when people are going to get tired of this game because it is kind of the same thing over and over again, but I, I just love the stupid puns. I love the stupid stories. It's such a fun and easy game for me to record that I keep coming back to it, and you guys keep watching it. So again, if you want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return to grow our empire and make our apartment building bigger and see if this freak has decided to eat anybody else. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.